Waka 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 What is cracking fam? I exit back here with another video. Welcome, welcome. Hope you've been well taking care of yourself and ripping into some packs of your own. We have the vending machine challenge episode number 10. We're in double digits. We do return to the pop attack vending machine that has given us profit a couple of times in the past. So we'll roll on the footage of grabbing our packs and then meet you back here for the rules. As we approach the vending machine, it looks stocked up, which is awesome. So many different choices, so many different options. And it's a tough decision today because um, we're back at the vending machine. It's given us plenty of luck in the past and so many good options. I see Stellar Crown, I'm like, maybe, but I just don't feel that Stellar Crown's got the big enough chases in it for us to really warrant wanting to double our money and really rip into that main chase prize so i'm umming and ahhing about what set we go with potentially trying to get as close to that hundred dollars to to make it easier to hit because the more we spend actually sometimes the more hard it is to get that total so you know we got did crown zenith last time or the time before last sorry we did twilight last time from a different vending machine and the mystery pack so this time i i likely uh we'll be going back with an old favourite as, you know, I feel like we still deserve that fish. So we do select Paldea for a fat stack of 12. And then, as we see the machine getting out our packs, are they going to be the lucky ones? Do they contain one of those fishy fishes that we want to see? Maybe, maybe not. And where are we going to spend the rest of our budget? You know, I did check out those Sword and Shield packs. You know, I'm always partial to a cheeky sword and shield pack so look we probably will fill it with a loose pack here or there or some sword and shield is what i'm thinking um or maybe i don't know i did i did peep the 151 loose packs but when i did assess the prices on them they were a little bit higher than i'd hope for 151 so uh yeah you know where we're heading we're heading back for a fusion and maybe a couple of other packs don't forget, Gym Heroes is our vintage set of the month. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is throw a guess for the randomly selected Pokemon from this set into the comment section of the video. Make sure you smash the like button and be subscribed to the channel to enter that giveaway. All the winners will go into a race at the end of the month to see who comes out on top. We'll give out multiple prizes, so not just first. And at the moment, there's an incredible giveaway going on from the Poke Galaxy TCG and Found My Exit pages. Go ahead and check out our Instagram pages, both Found My Exit and Poke Galaxy TCG for the ways to enter this giveaway. Two different prizes, this incredible, incredible first edition Typhlosion Holo from Neo Genesis is gonna be the first prize. And then second prize is a Poke Galaxy TCG mystery pack. These are a ton of fun. If you haven't, go and check them out and buy. If there are any left, there's probably none left at this stage, but look, Go ahead and enter the giveaway because these are still available to be won. Just follow the details on the Instagram post and enjoy the video today. Oh, I was so not sure with my choices. We did go the 12 stack of Paldea Evolved, as you would have seen. We will throw a total up here in the corner that we do chase down for all of the packs. So 12 stack of Paldea Evolved is what we started with. Um, let's get back to basics and let's chase that fish. We are due for that fish. We've had some luck. So let's see if we can do it. Then we grab some loose packs. We do have Silver Tempest. I couldn't help myself with a little sprinkling of Sword and Shield. A Fusion Strike and another Fusion Strike. Uh, one of the, the, each of the different type of crimp types. So these came from different products, I would assume. But our total was pretty much bang on the hundred. So we'll finish with the Sword and Shield. We'll start with Paldea Evolved. I wanted to kind of get back to basics. I felt like strategy is important for us winning this challenge, right? So as close to $100 as possible to try and rip into our chase packs today. And let's introduce them. So if we do get one cent into the green on that number, we will rip a Pokey Rev mystery pack. Um, I thought, why not? Let's make it a Rev mystery pack. Then we have the chance at all the other different tiers um, and potential offerings. We could find vintage with inside that. Um, we will also rip into that Poke Rev mystery pack if we do hit our randomly generated Pokemon, uh, which we'll grab now. All right, let's find out who the random Pokemon is going to be. Charger Bug. Is there a Charger Bug in Paldea Evolved? Mm. All right, so Charger Bug. We'll throw Charger Bug down there in the corner, and there is no Charger Bug in Paldea Evolved. But 
We have two packs of Fusion Strike around the video out, and there is a Charger Bug in this set. Uh, got a chance of hitting it, so if we do hit the randomly selected Pokemon, as mentioned, it is down there in the corner. We'll rip into the Mystery Pack as well. And if we do manage to get that into the profit and that much money into the green, so double our money, we will be ripping into the next Destiny's Blister. So a very exciting, very expensive blister, um, which is our chase prize for today. Uh, I will put a, a vintage pack in there as well as the next Destiny's for our next challenge. Um, just waiting on for something to arrive before I do that. So in the video today, there are chase items. These are our packs. The total's in the corner. Let's get ripping. So many good options. I wanted to get Stellar Crown, but for me, the fish is a bigger chase. Um, and I just thought back to strategy, right? Like, if I can keep that total as close to 100 as possible, that means any big hit out of any of these sets that we're opening is going to really help us get to that profit margin to rip into the mystery pack. Um, and yeah, if we are lucky enough to see that magic up, we're pretty much a shoe-in, I feel like, for getting double our money. So, ain't nothing to it but to do it and get into it. Um, we do have a live stream coming up this weekend. Hopefully the announcement, I think the announcement will be up by now um, for the date and timing of that. Make sure you hit the, the notification button to get notified on that live stream. But we're doing mystery packs. We will also in that do the announcements of our giveaways. I believe um, Poker Galaxy TCG have just had some issues with their Instagram, but I believe we will be announcing the winners of that Typhlosion. What an incredible Typhlosion. First edition Typhlosion slab. Oh, nice way to start it with the Quaxley Illustration Rare. It is the Illustration Rare. You know, it's not the fish, but it's still a great one. I think Quaxley is one of the nicer value, uh, obviously a starter there. Um, what was I saying? So we will do the announcement of those giveaways and the mystery pack, and we'll rip that mystery pack for the winner in the live. We will also do our vintage set of the month giveaway and our members giveaway in that live, I would say. So I haven't decided what the prizes are. I think I floated a few ideas. Um, there was a few slabs like a... Um, a base set Arcanine, um, Shadowless, and a few other options that I've got in mind potentially for those prizes. We will give away multiple prizes for those that have guessed correctly for our vintage set of the month. Um, it's shocking, right? How many people may or may not have guessed it correctly. I'll leave that little hint there and maybe I'll throw another hint later in this video because this likely will be the last video that you can throw your guesses in. Obviously a guess per video um, as you would have seen in the announcement but yeah make sure to guess those guesses and I might drop another hint later in the video. Some people have guessed correctly. I haven't really tracked how many but I don't think it's as many as I would have expected so Anyway, let's get the hits flowing, okay? Vending Machine Challenge, episode number 10. We are up to 10. I do love the Vending Machine Challenge. I do love the Vintage Booster Pack Bounty Hunt. And there is, as I mentioned, I think I've mentioned a few different times, a few other ideas that I want to bring in for op uh, for different videos, right? Or for even for live streams. And I will hopefully execute on those. Work has n died off a little bit. I did get out all of the giveaway winners prizes um probably the day before this oh no probably the same day to be honest um i may not have sent tracking because i did get a receipt that was like really really long and it didn't specify the address of each of them so there was multiple winners in the us that i'm not actually sure which us winner was aligned to the tracking ID on the receipts. I'll try and screenshot them and send them out to those winners, but just do know if you did win a giveaway prize, um, they're all on the way, right? So those ones from all the way back from the stream through to the Feltat Pikachu. Congratulations again, Jay, on that prize. That is huge. Um, and let me know when you guys get them. I want to know when they arrive safe. I think generally for the international ones, they're between five to 10 days maybe business days so a little bit of time for those to arrive wow we're getting absolutely diced on this one i know quaxley is probably one of the nicer illustration rares from paldea evolved outside of the big hitters um 
But yeah, apart from that, we're getting washed right now. We need something in these last few Paldera Evolved packs. Either that or we need a big alt art from the Sword and Shield era packs. I welcome either, but... You know, it's probably time for a bit of a dry patch when it comes to our luck. We have been very, very, very lucky lately. And sooner or later, you know, that luck's got to dry up. But if it happens today, we accept it. And then we, you know, we push forward to that stream where rip in some mystery packs. I'm hoping that we can get some luck as we do have a reg EX there. The goldfish. Oh, I want to say something to that goldfish, but I probably, you know, I don't know if I should, to quote from Bad Boys, um, the OG Bad Boys, nice something fish, but yeah, anyway, uh, that's what I feel like saying about that fish, all right, three more Paldea Evolved, the score is not in our favor right now, I can tell you that much, even if that Quaxley is worth more than I expect it to be, we need something big, and we need it soon, all right, Paldea Evolved, come on, three packs remaining, you can definitely give us that fishy fish that we have been chasing, and get this kicked into profit. That would be intense. Oh, it's kind of feeling an illustration rare in that pack, but wasn't to be. Wasn't to be. How's everyone's week rolling on? Hump day. Getting through the week. Looking forward to the weekend. As I mentioned, if we're going to be ripping mystery packs in that live stream, which we are, more Poker Galaxy mystery packs. I'm very excited. Doing some giveaways. We'll probably rip some other stuff from a warm-up perspective and, and whatnot. But yeah, I'm I am excited. Firstly for the weekend, and secondly, to be able to stream and hang out with everyone. Hopefully everyone's free. Um, really, really looking forward to it. Alright, alright. Last pack of Paldea Evolved, and apart from the one illustration rare and the reg EX, we really haven't done too well. We do need some luck from this last pack to at least, or it's going to come down to a big hit, a really unlikely big hit from the Sword and Shield era packs. Oh, no illustration rare in the last. Oh, I couldn't even tell you what I think that Quaxley's worth. I feel like it's like a $15 to $20 card, maybe even less, to be honest. So we're probably well away from that that total that we need to be. We do have three Sword and Shield era packs here. And a hope and a dream and potentially some cheating. All right, all right, all right. Can we do it? And worst case, maybe we can get that charger bug from Fusion Strike to at least trigger that randomly selected Pokemon. That's the good thing about the vending machine challenge. Even if we're getting dusted on the score, which is likely to happen from time to time, we can still snag the random Pokemon and rip into one of the chase items, right? I don't think there's any Charger Bug in Silver Tempest, but I will double check. No. If there is, we didn't get it in that pack. Okay, Fusion Strike comes down to you. One of the big alt arts, an Espeon, a Mew, a Gengar, any of those will definitely get us rocketed up the scoreboard. All right, hit code card. Doesn't really mean anything in the reprinted Sword and Shield era, but we will still hope yeah, but any of those big alt arts, and we're really looking good to rip into some of the chase items. All right, Growlithe, the Chansey Reverse Hollow into the Toxtricity Hollow. Wow. Okay, wow. I get it. A Hollow's kind of a hit in Sword and Shield era, so it probably should count to the scoreboard, but we're going to need more than that. Even if I do count that Toxtricity, it's not going to get us there. Let's be honest. It's not going to get us there. All right. What have we got? What have we got? Fusion Strike. I didn't check for a Charger Bug. I will quickly look back through that bulk in a second. Never mind. Charger Bug. We are ripping into the Rev Mystery Pack. Two packs of Fusion Strike. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. As we do have... Wow, I was like, why is this card stuck at the end? We do have a Secret Rare, the Gold Ultra Rare Energy. Well, the hits were few. But we did hit that Charger Bug. Boom. Which means we have triggered the Rev Mystery Pack. Maybe we take any of the hits out of this Mystery Pack and keep adding them to the total. That's a little bit of cheating. But, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. I am all for it. The Charger Bug has been hit. We'll pop that in front of the mantle and thank it. 
ticked it off in the corner down there. I mean, from a total perspective, what's that gold ultra rare? Probably another 10 bucks. I mean, we're probably only like 30 to $40 off of that total at best. It could even be as low as 20. Um, but we have a Poker Rev mystery pack. We have a chance in here of a mega bonus tier. So five Sword and Shield of Scarlet and Violet era packs. Then we have the green being one of the same. One in five X white Sun and Moon era. One in 10 being silver, which is our black and white era. And one in 25 being our vintage, which could be, you know, Watsy Platinum Huck, all Soul Silver, uh, or vintage Japanese. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool to see. All right, what are you... Oh, one pack magic. We've had some luck in our um, mystery pack openings lately, as you would have seen. If you did catch the last video, we did very well. I uh, won't ruin it for you, but we definitely got some vintage and ripped into it. So make sure you don't miss out on that one. All right, 4.0 revs. So we're seeing a bit more sword and shield. Oh, no, sorry. Paldea Evolved is definitely... Okay, so Pogo in there. Yeah, just kind of like what we've been seeing from Revs. But we do have the bonus tier that is a red. Nice. Well, that works. Usually we have some, you know, Sun and Moon or XY era packs. And we do. So love to see it. You love to see it. We'll pop that in the mantle. We'll rip through these. As mentioned, why not? I love a bit of cheating. We'll add the profit from these into that total. And if we can tick it over, the, we need to, you know, we need a fair bit to get there because the 100 would have just triggered this mystery pack. We need to get that all the way up to like 100 in the positive. Then we will rip into that next Destiny's Blister as well. So still a chance at ripping all of our chase items for the video today and a bit of fun, you know. I always love having those chase items as a bit extra you know, a little bit of extra spice for the opening, right? All right, get a bonus pack of Paldea Evolved. That fish is gonna, it's gonna fall, right? Sooner or later, we will get that silly carp. No, it's not a silly carp. I do love it. I reckon it's actually one of the coolest cards. Um, not just hype, like I really do like that card. All right, so I'm glad that we, we got a little hit there, a couple of, sense off of the total um yeah yeah don't know why i was doing that sorry pokemon go moving on so there's a couple more dollars off of the total there and we have still a few more packs and then of course whatever is in that red tier i don't know what i was saying before i think i was saying i love chasing the dream i love you know the opportunity to rip into a chase item whether that be a vintage pack whether that be just some older eras is it a ditto? No, it's not. We do have a Reg V in the back with an Executor. Swinging his coconuts around. All right, Lost Origin. Come on. Let's see something big from one of these two packs. If not, actually, we'll save it for what's in that red tier. Well, can already see that that's a no-hitter code card. But Sword and Shield, off and wrong. And we do have Trainer Gallery in this pack. So we could still get a hit even with a white code card. But if you've been around the channel long enough, you know how wrong those code cards are. And it's wrong again as we do have a hit in the back. Mr. Green Guts hanging them out there. And we do have the Rainbow Zorark in the back. So no hit a code card as you would have seen. Rainbow. Uh, so it's not... I know that they can be no hit a code cards and you have a hit in the trainer gallery. But that was a hit in the back. So that helps. Not heaps but it helps um yeah okay okay well what have we got actually we'll get the gold out because it's hidden right now we got the charger bug which triggered okay so we're ticking off things on that but you know we're still probably a while away from being a hundred into the profit i would say we're probably not even into the green yet on the initial investment um obviously the cheating allowing the mystery pack to not be included in that total to chase down and giving us a chance, a shot at being able to rip into the next Destiny's Blister on top of this mystery pack. But even still, even if that doesn't happen, we do have a hiding charger bug as well as whatever is in this red tier mystery pack. So we've got XY or Sun and Moon Cosmic. I feel like this is Cosmic Eclipse. You love to see it. That is a definite banger sun and moon era pack and there is like 
a whole list of hits that we will quickly roll through on the screen that we could get from this that will launch us into that profit margin. Could we be lucky enough today? Oh, a supreme connection of stars and Pokemon. Yes, yes, yes. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right, let's get into it. Let's not let's not mess around here. Cosmic Eclipse, are you going to give us a banger to round out the video? All right, code card facing that way. Should, should, should we? No, we won't look at it. I was going to say, should we look at it? All right, four to the front, Stilton, Sun and Moon era. Is there going to be anything in the back? Cosmic Eclipse. Pull rates, not the friendliest. So not expecting anything, but we will welcome something. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not. Get ahead of the curve. Get locked in. Hit that notification on the live for the weekend. And in the back of the Cosmic Pack, we have a non holo rare. Look, wasn't to be. At least we hit that chase Pokemon in the video today. Thank you all for watching. And we will catch you to rip some mystery packs in the live on the weekend. A waka 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 waka